Welcome to our video, Japan and the World. The topic for this time is, No European Security Without Ukrainian Victory. I would like to focus on the commentary in Atlantic Council by Pavlo Zavnarenko, Chairman of the Center for Strategic Studies in Kyiv and an advisor to the Secretary of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council. Amid mounting concerns over the future of Western military aid for Ukraine, it is worth stressing that Ukrainians remain sincerely grateful for the international support their country has already received over the past two years. At the same time, it is also important to underline the contributions Ukraine itself has made, and continues to make, toward European security. The most immediately obvious Ukrainian contribution to European security is the country's role as Europe's first line of defense against Russian aggression. Russian leader Vladimir Putin and other senior Kremlin officials frequently define the current war as a conflict against the Western world as a whole. However, Ukraine's military has so far prevented Russia from advancing further and entering into direct hostilities with other European countries. As long as the Russian military remains fully engaged in Ukraine, most analysts believe Moscow is unlikely to embark on additional invasions. Crucially, Russia has already suffered catastrophic losses in Ukraine that will seriously impact Putin's ability to wage a major war for many years to come. According to independent estimates and open-source data, hundreds of thousands of Russian soldiers have been killed or wounded in Ukraine, while the Russian military has also lost thousands of tanks, hundreds of aircraft, and a significant number of warships. The success of the Ukrainian army is also providing European military chiefs with vital intelligence that is helping them to prepare appropriately for a possible future war against Russia. They are able to test new weapons in combat conditions while studying the realities of the modern battlefield and the role played by relatively novel elements including drones and electronic warfare. All without having to deploy their own troops. The failure of Russia's initial blitzkrieg in spring 2022 has given European leaders vital breathing space to start reviving their own neglected defense capabilities. Although this process has certainly not been as rapid as many in Kyiv would have wanted, it is now beginning to produce results. Armaments production is expected to rise significantly across Europe during 2024 which will boost Ukraine's war effort while also increasing Europe's ability to defend itself. The full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine has had a transformative impact on European public opinion and has helped unite the continent around the core values of democracy, human rights, and defense against authoritarianism. This process has revitalized NATO and led to the enlargement of the alliance with Finland joining in 2023 and Sweden expected to follow suit in the coming months. With Russia no longer able to disguise its hostility toward the Western world, European governments have belatedly begun to address the Kremlin's extensive efforts to undermine Western societies from within. This has included removing Russian propaganda platforms from the information space and expelling Russian spies operating across Europe under diplomatic cover. Russian support for extremist parties and protest movements within the EU has also been subjected to unprecedented scrutiny. This has made it more challenging for the Kremlin to continue conducting destabilization campaigns undetected while in some cases also forcing Moscow's allies and collaborators to publicly distance themselves from Russia. That's all. No European Security Without Ukrainian Victory. By Pavlo Zavnarenko, Chairman of the Center for Strategic Studies in Kyiv and an advisor to the Secretary of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council.